So now we request uh, Dr. Bhengkotesh Raikor. Kindly, uh, you are uh, you are requested to how you are thinking for rationalization of the curriculum with a view to making the students as human being. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much, Honorable Chairman and distinguished panelists. I am thank you first of all the policy times, especially the Akramji. See, the thing is that higher education institution expectations are knowledge, know-how, the wisdom and character. And whenever we develop the curriculum based upon three factors, that is knowledge, skill, and attitude. See, now, you know, let me repeat, the expectation of our higher education institutions are knowledge, know-how, wisdom, and character. And curriculum development is based upon knowledge, skill, attitude, and behavior. After pandemic, the priority has changed. That is uh, a curriculum development. First is skill, second one is knowledge, third one is attitude and behavior. See, any academic distinction is achieved by two things, strategies and culture. These are very important. And whatever the higher education institution vision, mission, or quality policy, quality po objectives, all are driven by the core values. If the core values are intact in any higher education institution, there will not any bad effect from the student side. So how the management, how the academicians, how the research will percolate the core values which are designed for specific university, then there will not be any problems in the campus. That's the first and foremost. Another thing, what are the challenges you know, for the higher education? One is, I think, uh, Mr. Previous speaker told, Increasing the need for lifelong learning in a non-linear world. Because, you know, nowadays, the disturbing technology, the VUCA word, Industry 4.0, that is the one thing you have to keep in mind. Then evaluate, evaluating the needs and expectation of the student's consumer. And third one is emerging technologies and business model. Fourth one, towards a skill over degree, what you call model. So why, what we have been following, especially in India, after the independence, we have stressed more on formal education. I think today is the need of informal education. So taking the students into, you know, what you call uh, confidence, we can boost up their morality and also we can motivate them to show interest. Because I think uh, all, all are talking about, you know, I think right from the beginning, then rationalization of, you know, curriculum. I think this will not be the, you know, rationalization of curriculum. Okay, because the school children, the lost number of working days, I think the CBSC is reducing by 30% based upon 1,50,000 suggestion. In higher education, most of the good institutions in India, they use the technology. Because of the technology, I think uh, there is no reduction of what you call the curriculum. But one thing, whatever the rationalization of the curriculum is nothing but taking care of the relevance of the industry and society for the better employability and also the better knowledge given to the students. Because today, higher education is focusing more on, on, I think any higher education institution should take care of three things. One is knowledge dissemination, knowledge creation, and knowledge application. When students, you know, start thinking of knowledge uh, or creation, knowledge uh, application, then they show interest in teaching learning process. If they show teaching learning process, when they don't have idle time to take care of other nonsense issue, I think that automatically the, what you call the personality of the students will build up. I think there are some uh, some subjects which can take care of the morals, attitude, behavior, empathy, stewardship, leadership. I think there are some subjects are to be taught to the students about the ethics, values. This should be the core subjects for uh, uh, any uh, programs. Because the chairman asked me how you can you know uh, make students better leaders, better citizen of the country in a rationalization curriculum. Because one thing we have to see, we have to conduct a lot of personality development programs, lot of, you know, uh, activities towards national building, lot of activities towards societal concern, lot of activities regarding community developments, lot of activities towards helping the poor. If you, uh, along with the, you know, core subjects, along with the domain subjects, if you involve our students for uh, what you call adoption of villages and transferring the technology from the institution to the uh, villages, or the community, definitely students will have a empathy towards the country and empathy towards the institution. 
how the higher education student uh, student uh, institution will in all the students to take care of the nation building and to leadership building so i think these some of the subjects which whether whichever the program may be those subjects are to be a core subject that's one thing second thing one is that because you know nowadays you know i think uh, somebody has pointed out in the beginning whatever the rationalization of the curriculum that issue is taken up very much in the national education policy i think uh, most of the things because unnecessary unwanted things are not to be taught because the multidisciplinary activities and all the flexibility vertical multi entry multi exit and vocational training professional education these are all address i think that will take care of in higher education rationalization of higher education but the most important the most important for youngsters those are in teenagers i have to imbibe good values and ethics among the students community if we imbibe this because this is missing because of the technology the human touch is missing nowadays because what professor previous professor told i think tomorrow or to i think we have to go for a blended learning we cannot because this is the need of the hour because it may be hybrid offline online using the technology i think this will be a research area some one day we can see students remotely can sit and have a 3d model of teachers robots and all very common in china and korea i think blended learning is the part of the hour but when our chairman asked me regarding the character building it all depends upon the teachers teachers should you know take care of the students there should be a proper counseling mentoring one to one base then only because the teachers you know first and all because we are the tutor mentor guardian father mother everything not only take care of our just knowledge dissemination they are our sons and daughters we have to each and we have to talk each other and we should know the what is the emotional legacy we should know the virtual presence of the uh, student i think we can make the any students were one of the best students of the world it all depends on the teacher teacher role is very very important i think professor previous people told i think he is the in charge of accreditation i think in the national education policy there is a one word called school accreditation like in higher education like abet aqs ambas and sir is heading one more accreditation because accreditation is a vehicle for the quality assurance i think uh, we can do wonders using a technology i think the students are very important in the campus if you make them more them a proper citizen i think that country will prosperous the country will be economical and political education accompany so these are the things i would like to say one more point i want to with the permission of the what you call uh, chairman i'll take another one or two minutes because there are two issues are there one is when the school re reopen what are the measures you are going to take for that one why i want to answer who has given covid 19 research and there are 38 essential actions given across the globe that is one thing another thing safe campus because it all varies from institute to institute but whichever institute i think in america and europe or in india the good institution or the good university first display the core values of the university if the core values are inculcated among all the stakeholders there will not be any disturbances there will not be any problems in the campus so this one i would like to thank you thank you akram ji and all the panelists given me chance to share my views with you people thank you very much